On the 28th of February, El Salvador citizens are called to elect the new mayors for the 262 municipalities, as well as the 84 deputies that will sit in the Legislative Assembly. President Bukele's Nuevas Ideas party is set to win by a landslide, with polls suggesting that it might even obtain a two-third majority. The popularity of this charismatic, Twitter-happy millennial leader is due mainly to two elements. First of all, the widespread popular discontent at the traditional parties that dominated the political arena uh, in the past three decades, uh, the leftist FMLN and the right-wing arena, as well as the extraordinary security achievements that his administration has obtained, with 2020 ending as the least violent year in, in decades. But this belligerent tone and apparent disdain for democratic norms are also putting some wood on the fire of political polarization and have emboldened government fanatics to attack on, this, on their opponents, both online and in real life, and have raised alarm bells at the international level of a possible authoritarian drift in the country. These elections are particularly important because if polls are right, Bukele will be in an unprecedented position to seek a long-lasting solution to the gang issue in the country. He could even possibly consider to formalize those with gangs, which so far has been kept under secrecy and, and seems to be the main driver for the reduction in homicides that the country is experiencing. But he might also be tempted to shift away from this path, particularly if it affected his public image, and repeat the country's recent history when homicides skyrocketed after a similar process called the truce fell apart in 2014. Foreign partners should back Bukele in his efforts to design a comprehensive security policy, but they also should tie their support to the respect for the hard-fought checks and balances that the country's fragile democracy has built at the end of its 12-year-long civil war.